Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. In this video, I'll share the step-by-step -step method of creating custom material with our own textures and render it in AutoCAD 3D. Now, if you want to learn everything about AutoCAD 3D right from scratch, then check the AutoCAD 3D course we have on SourceCAD. Link is in the description of the video. So with that, let's get started. So let's start with this 3D drawing. So if you want to follow along, you can download this 3D model using link in the description. Now with that being said, let's start with 3D modeling workspace of AutoCAD. So when this drawing opens up in 2D drafting or any other workspace, simply switch to 3D modeling by clicking this gear icon. So click here and select 3D modeling. Now in the 3D modeling workspace, you'll see all the 3D tools as well as the visualization tools that we need for rendering. The visualize tab is right here. Now here, I'm just going to zoom in and I'll bring it closer. Also, I'll orbit my drawing so that this back view is slightly well visible like so. Okay, so here we are. Now in AutoCAD, you can apply material simply by using the material browser, which is here on the material panel, we have the browser select it and that's going to show you a list of all the materials available now these materials are divided into different categories as you can see and if you don't see this simply expand it so by default it will look like this click this plus icon and this one to just expand the material library now the list is really big but you may not find all the materials and also the high quality material may not be available in this list but that will address in a moment you can actually use high quality material using a tool called poly which i'll show you but first let's start by adding simple materials here now i'll start with plastic so we have several categories here just select the category as you can see plastic is already selected here so i'll just keep that checked and now it will show all the plastic materials available for us now the material that will apply here is textured gray matte. So that material is right here. So let's just look for it. And that happens to be here, textured gray matte, right about here. So we'll select this material, click this arrow, and that's gonna add it in our main library. So now the material is added here, we are ready to add it. So to add this, you need to first select the object where you want to apply it. So I want to apply it here on this one, this one, and this one so these are the four objects where i want to apply it so select the four objects right click on this material and select assign to selection and now the materials are applied but we don't see any kind of well change here and that's because of the visual style the current visual style we're using is shaded with edges change that to realistic and now you can see the difference so here we can see the actual material applied here Okay, so these materials are applied. Now, what about the rest of the drawing? Well, for the rest of the drawing, I'm going to use a slightly different approach. As I mentioned, I'm gonna be using a tool that will let us add very high quality materials. And the best of it is this tool is free. So simply go to withpoly.com and you can actually find this link in the description as well. And here on withpoly website, just go to this textures area. Now here you can actually generate textures simply by writing its name. For example, let's assume that we want a wooden texture. So I'm going to type mahogany wood. All right. And then click on generate. And here we are. So the material is well generated. So here we have all the textures. Now using these textures, you can actually create the material that you need. So in this case, I'm going to select this one. All right. And I just want to use it in my drawing. So by default, it will let you download this low resolution image that you can, of course, use in your project simply by clicking this download. And if you want to generate a really high quality image, then you need to subscribe. But that's not always needed. You can still use the free one. So here I'm going to be using this free texture. So I'll click on download and it's downloaded. Now let's go to AutoCAD and go to this global material. And let's create a copy. So I'll right click here and click on duplicate. Now let's call it wood and enter. So we now have a duplicate copy, but we need to modify this material in order to make it look like wood. So I'll select it and click on this edit. And here we have the image. So click on image and select the image we just downloaded. That happens to be this one. Click open and done. That's all we need for now. So simply close it. Now drag this image and drop it wherever you want to apply it. And here it is. Right out of the box, it looks well great but we have a small problem. Now just look at this one, this area here. So just because tiling is on 
and we have a low res image here it is showing this kind of seam here right here now if you want a completely seamless image where boundaries are not visible then you can actually increase the sample size like so so go to wood click on edit material double click this image and here in this list we have an option called sample size inside scale so you can increase this number i'll make it 40 for both the sides length and width or you can use a high resolution image now increasing the sample size will of course make it look like this which appears kind of blurry so this isn't very high quality image let's now replace it with a high quality image to get the best result so i'll just close it and once again i'll go back to poly and here i'll create high resolution image for this texture so i'll go to this one select it and then select q job and before you do that you can also select the resolution in this case it is selecting 2048 by 2048 pixels as the resolution which is quite sufficient for our example though you can also use even higher resolution images so i'll simply queue this job and it's going to take some time to generate this and here we are so we've got this high resolution texture which we can now download so simply download this and let's go back to autocad and replace it with that high resolution texture so i'll go to wood click here and click this link right underneath the image and that will just let you well download it so simply select the mahogany wood and open and here we are now you can clearly see the high resolution texture here and we don't have any seams here so if you want to make this kind of seamless texture while well, use high resolution image okay so with that sorted let's now close it and let's apply the same material on the back side of this so i'll just drag it and drop it and alternatively if you don't want to use this method you can also select the objects first just like we did in the previous example and then you can right click on the material and select assign to selection all right so we've got this applied on the back side and here now let's apply more materials here and for that i'm going to well download a few so i'll go to once again poly and textures and let's now download black leather so simply type the name once again so black leather and select generate and here we are we've got all of these well black leather textures now in this case i'm going to be using this black leather texture you can select anyone from this list and with that i'll click on download all right, let's go to AutoCAD and create another copy of this global material. So right click on global, select duplicate and let's call it leather. All right, once again, I'm going to click here on the edit option right next to it, image and select the black leather image and open. All right, now I'll simply drag it and drop it on this material right here. So that's the object where I just need to apply it. So I'll drag it and drop it and it's now applied. So here we are now we have this applied here let's apply one more material here and for that i'm going to be using this default library so i'll go to plastic once again and let's use a red colored plastic so actually we have this smooth red and we have smooth burnt red i'm going to be using this one so i'll select this click on add to library and from here we'll add it but before i do that i'll select these two rings and i'll right click on this and select assign to selection all right so that's now added here now let's get a bit creative here with this well this one is well as you can see metallic stand so if you want to apply metallic object well once again you can use it from this list or you can go to poly and from there you can just download a texture or you can use something creative like fabric so if you want to apply a fabric material you can actually use it from this list or you can once again go to poly in this case i'll go to once again poly and here i will select fabric all right and click on generate and here we have fabric options now of course i was not very specific with the fabric so it will just give us well these kind of textures i'll maybe select this and download it and also i'll download another one so gray aluminum and i'll click on generate and here we have some options now i'm going to just select this course one and i'll download this so with all these materials now let's add well a few more textures so again i'll go to global right click and duplicate and let's use aluminum all right and edit and select this one appearance click on image and select gray aluminum and open there we are and now i'll just apply it right about here so maybe i'll just close it first 
aluminum drag it and drop it and you can actually do it for this stand as well now if you want to use fabric feel free to use it for this example and if you apply fabric the image may look like this so let's use fabric and I'm just going to be using fabric now but instead of applying fabric here I'll just apply it on the backgrounds so now I'll go to image and I'll select the fabric here and open we are done so select fabric and apply it on the backdrop so there we are now of course this fabric texture is not kind of okay because of this red texture of our speaker so we should use a different color for this one just to pop this image out and to do that I'll once again go to this and now I'll make a specific texture so green fabric and generate and here are our options that you can use so we have all these fabrics that are going to look really great or you can also use marble so maybe let's just use marble here so I'm gonna type marble with green streaks now that's very specific so you can actually use these kind of well phrases and here we are we've got all of these marbles so just select the one whichever you want to apply maybe this one and download it or if you want you can once again go to generate HD texture and get a really high resolution image here I'll simply use the default let's go to this one and now instead of making a new material I'll just modify this existing one so I'll go to fabric and modify click this one right here and I'll select marble now click open and of course we'll change the name so it's fabric let's call it marble all right press enter and we are done so we've got this applied here now I'm gonna apply marble here at the bottom as well and we are done applying all the materials here and we are ready to render this so that was the first part where we actually applied all the materials now in the next step we will create the actual rendering but before I do that I'll actually delete all well, this rectangle right here it's not required and also the, these polylines okay so now we have only this now let's start with the default rendering settings so here I'll go to this render option and I'll select rendering quality medium and I'll simply click on render to size with whatever the default conditions are and this is the rendering which we are going to get which is quite terrible so let's just fix it so I'll close it and here in the shadows I'll just go to this shadow option and activate full shadows that's the first setting now the second setting is environment so I'll go to render and select environment and exposure and activate the environment now I'll select an environment preset in this case I'll select sharp highlights and that's just going to set the light conditions shadows and everything according to the preset and we don't need to make these settings manually so once you are done simply zoom in so that it looks kind of like this and uh, we'll just make it a full screen mode kind of image like that all right and with that we'll once again create a new rendering and here we are we've got a completely new rendering all right so there it is now if you want even better quality rendering then simply zoom in just as close as possible to this speaker and also change the quality preset from medium to high and now click on render to size and that's just going to create a really high quality rendering like this one now it looks like I zoomed in well way too far so in my next example I'll actually zoom it out so maybe I'll just cancel the rendering close it and I'll zoom out a little bit or maybe a little bit more well like so here and let's render it again and that's better and here is our final rendering that you can save as an image so I'll click on save image and I'll just go to downloads folder that's where I'm gonna save it and I'll call it final rendering one now using same method you can create several different settings several different textures and create very interesting renderings now these are some of the renderings which I have created with textures created using this poly tool the link is in the description